What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hi God sense and good hearts out there. Welcome back to our channel Canva Play. If you are new to our channel, my name is Pinky, also known as Godson BA, and I am a Canva designer. I am back to share with you another video tutorial called Fractal Mirror Effect in Canva. Here, we will share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. Fractal is an endless pattern made in an ongoing loop identical across different scales, while mirrors reflect. Therefore, fractal mirrors are never-ending identical reflections in different scales and views. This effect became so popular that it was used even in the cover album of singers and bands, and even movie banners. Fractal mirror effect can be horizontal, it can also be vertical, and can be circular. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the vertical one because it's the most popular to use amongst the three. Let's get into it and start creating the design. But before that, let me show you the sample that we will create. Let's now go to Blank Canva Design Editor. Drag a photo from Photos or Uploads. Since I want to create a multiple panel of mirrors, I will duplicate this into 5 to make it 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Later on, you will see that I aim to create a 12-panel vertical mirror effect. Select them all and position them middle-center. The first photo at the top Crop it up to the middle. You will know that you reach the middle when a violet line snaps like this. Now I've created two halves, this one, and then the other one is this. Using the half crop photo in the right, crop it from the edge, going to the center to create a strip. If you will ask me if I have a particular size to use, my answer is no particular size. It's up to you to set your own size. In this design, I choose 90 pixel wide and I will apply the same size to all the panels I'm going to create. I will alternately drag upward and downward the different panels for you to visualize it more clearly on how I will create them. I know that it's so hard to drag on the right size. What you can do to manipulate it is to zoom it out so you can change the size easily. So I will repeat the same process until I finish cropping all the panels. After I finish cropping them equally, I will select them all and apply position middle. This time, I want to separate all the panels equally apart. And since I set my panels at 90 pixel width, I should separate them 90 pixel space apart too. Why? You will see in the next step. How? This is how I will do it. Select the farthest edge panel. And this one, this is the tip. You hold shift first, then use the 
arrow key to the right to move the funnel. Maybe you wonder, why do I have to hold the shift when you can move it by just merely using the arrow keys to the right? The reason is, when you use the arrow keys only in moving the panels, you will just move one pixel away only to the right. While when you hold shift while holding your arrow keys, you will move the panels by 10 pixels to the right. So again, I repeat, a pro tip is, when moving selected panels, you can nudge them one pixel at a time using the arrow keys or 10 pixels at a time when you combine the arrow keys with the shift key. So, let's apply this. Since I use 90 pixels panel size, I should separate them 90 pixels wide apart too. So, I will select the farthest panel, hold shift, move or click the arrow key to the right 9 times. 9 times 10 equals 90. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 90 pixels wide apart. I will repeat the process to other panels. Now that I separated them all with each other, let's check if the spacing is precise at 90 pixels wide. How? By using the ALT key, ALT key, you can determine gap spaces of items. So select the panel, hold the ALT key, hover your mouse, and you will see the measurements. So ALT key, 90, ALT key, 90, ALT key, 90, ALT key, 90. Alt P90. So perfect. Next step is group them together. Position it in the middle center. After that, I will duplicate the group. I will, I will use this duplicated group to fill the spaces in between of the panels I did a while ago. So I will drag it, the group, and position it in the open spaces of the other group, like this. Next step is to create an illusion of mirror reflections, I will change the settings of the other panels located down. I want to set a look wherein I want reflections to be set as clear blur, clear blur, clear blur panel look. So, I will change the settings of the panels on this group down below. And using the first panel, go to Edit Image, go to Adjust, See All, and apply these settings. For Brightness, negative 20. For Blur, 7. Warmth, negative 30. Shadows, negative 100. Since we will change the settings of the multiple panels, I will just copy the filter code of these settings underneath this one and I will apply this to all the panel settings. When I'm done, I will align them all perfectly. And this is how it looks like. A perfect vertical fractal mirror effect. Before I end this, I would like to show you that the sizes can be changed on how you want your design to look like. So I will create a duplicate copy of this so I can show you. I will ungroup them and change them as my freestyle design. You can change the size, you can you can make the panels thinner, you can make the panels wider. So it depends on your eye on what look your design will be. Like this one. That's how you'll do it. Now let's go back to the design I made 
let's erase or delete this page and then this time I will uh, find an overlay to make this as my final touch go to elements but first I will change the background first to black like this one continue I will go to elements and then I will search for gradient that fades to transparency to be my overlay go to graphics and these are the gradient that fades to transparency I will choose one this one and then I will change the color to black and overlay them to the design now take a look the design I made That's it. For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky, your Gadsen DA, and in behalf of Simon Goodhart DA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.